Good morning, students. How are you doing? I want to believe that you are staying safe at home. Okay, welcome to another beautiful class in biology. On Monday, we looked at digestive system and just as we looked at respiratory system some time ago and after then we looked at the disorders of respiratory system respiratory disorders we are also looking at this digestive disorders digestive disorders when we are talking about disorders we are talking about the the defects or diseases that affect the digestive system and of course you remember that we say that the digestive system is made up of digestive organs and we say what are the digestive organs the mouth is the first digestive organ because it is the receptor it is the first organ of the first for the first stage which is the ingestion we look at esophagus gullet we look at um, intestines small intestine, large intestine, ileum colon, we look at the rectum, we look at the anus, we look at the stomach and also, okay? So now, if there is any damage or any, any effect that affects the digestive organs or any diseases of the digestive organs, it will give rise to digestive disorders and such digestion becomes difficult for the individual hello is it clear now let's look at it properly specific objective at the end of this lesson i should be able you should be able to define digestive disorders give example of digestive disorders state the causes effects and treatment of digestive disorders okay we, we did same thing with uh, respiratory system and so on. Okay, let's look at it now. Digestive disorders, these are diseases of the digestive tract. Of course, we say digestive tract is also the gastrointestinal tract, uh -huh, which is sometimes called the gastrointestinal tract. So we are just saying that diseases of the digestive tract or gastrointestinal tract is what we term as the digestive disorders, digestive disorders, just like diseases of the respiratory tract, the lungs, and so on. Diseases of the digest, uh, also the um, diseases of this. Uh, when we talk about circulatory disorders too, diseases that affect the heart, and so on. Now, digestive disorders, diseases that affect the digestive tract or gastrointestinal tract they are called digestive disorders okay so let's look at it some of the example are gallstones celiac diseases Crohn's diseases ulcerative colitis irritable bowel these are some of the digestive disorders these are some of the diseases that that affects the digestive system once one have any of these digestive diseases digestion becomes difficult for that person so this is your assignment to go and discuss on this write on this and get back to me on my whatsapp number okay now let's continue the lecture causes of digestive diseases you know when we're discussing respiratory diseases we say one of the causes of respiratory diseases is smoking smoking tobacco air pollution and so many other causes we highlighted now causes of digestive diseases are infection bacterial infection or viral infection any of the infections can cause can damage the digestive disease they can damage the digestive organ how can the digestive organ be infected since it's internal how come it's infected now, when you keep your food open, you keep your food open, you don't protect your food from flies and so on, and other animals or insects. Now, flies that has gone and pet on excretes or toilet excretes 
after perching on those excretes, the same flies come and dip itself, come and perch in your food that is uncovered. You see that by such, by such acts, it has transferred, it has transferred whatever carry, carry uh, whatever carriage. It has now infected that food. I don't know why you understand what I'm saying. Your food was open. It's open rather. Flies perch on an excrete and come and perch on your food. It has contaminated the food. The food thereby becomes infected. Either by bacteria or by any 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 any, any pathogen. And as such, when you consume the food, when you ingest the food, your organs become infected also. And as such, it will now give rise to digestive disorders or diseases. And it will give rise to most of these diseases. So, most of the things that causes our digestive organs to be infected is the food we eat, infected food we eat. Spoiled food is also infected. Spoiled food, sour food, they are infected. Once a food has gone sour or spoiled, it's infected. Now, poor diet. Poor diet, when we were discussing circulatory system, we also made mention of poor diet. Poor diet is harmful to the system. A food that is not balanced diet is harmful to the system. It can cause harm to the system. Poor diet. A food that is harmful. Once a food is unbalanced, it is poor and is harmful and therefore can cause, can cause damages to our organs, to our digestive organs and to give rise to digestive disorders or diseases. Now, genetic causes, this one really isn't your fault because when you hear the word genetic, it means that it is hereditary. It is a transfer from maybe the last two generations to the last generation, then it got to you. There are some diseases or disorders that because of, for the sake of the gene and blood, is a carryover. So you find out that your grandmother had such, died of such ailment then it passed over to your mom, it's now passed over to you, and so on. So that transfer from one generation to another is a genetic, it's a genetic disorder. Because of the gene in connection. So you now find out that that same problem is going to be transferred to your children, and it's going to, it, 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 it keeps going in that form. That's why you see, Diabetic is one of that. Diabetic is one of the is one of the genetic diseases. You find out that this this ailment is in that family. Is in that family, so it keeps going that way. It keeps going that way. Lifestyle, stress, too much stress, can cause digest digestive diseases. It can affect your digestive organ. Too much stress. Lack of exercising. Yeah, lack of exercising. Now, medications. I would have put poor medications. Now, how does medications cause this? When you abuse drug, drug abuse, 
by either taking a drug that is not prescribed by a doctor or an overdose of uh, an overdosage of drugs or expired drugs or poor medications it can give rise to digestive diseases it can give it can cause harm, harm to your digestive organs now aging what does it mean when one begins to age over time you begin to age over time of course once once you are aging you are becoming weak your body is becoming weak everything about you becomes weak even the cells in your body becomes weak of course that is why your the, the the hair of your grandmother begins to fall the hair because our hair cells are weak they change color they begin to fall they begin she begin to lose some hair she begin to lose her teeth most cells are weak so even her digestive organs become weak her body is weak his body is weak that is why there are some meal that you cannot give to your aged grandmother or aged grandfather because he is not that strong just as you are to swallow most of those uh, meals that you take so you find out that they have their own meals millet pap light food that can be easily swallowed they can easily swallow tea and so on you can't start giving them kukuya <laughs> okay so you find out that these are some of the causes of digestive diseases and i want to believe i've been able to explain them very well okay what are the effects now effects of digestive diseases once a person begin to have these diseases number one the person begins to bleed bleeding of course you know what is bleeding release of blood either from the nose or from the mouth or even from the ear blood can come out from any means anywhere any medium that's bleeding constipation a difficulty in passing excretes These are effects of digestive diseases. Heartburn. Heartburn. When you, when you feel that pain in your chest. You say, Mommy, my, my, you, you, some of us, we use the English, this wrong English. Mommy, my chest is paining me. No, 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 no. It's called heartburn. Most of the time, when you take pepperish food, it's not chest that is paining you. <laughs> it's, call it heartburn. Is the pain in the chest nausea and vomiting these are effects of digestive diseases of course you know what it means to vomit to throw up the food you've eaten pain in the belly sometimes you hold your belly like this ah of course you know the belly the stomach is a digestive organ weight gain or weight loss these are effects these are signs that when you see these are symptoms that when you see you know that there's a problem you, you gotta go for a checkup so how do we treat these things resting and drinking plenty of fluid water helps in digestion water helps in digestion of course you know that's why doctor will advise you take plenty of water have rest you know i told you that one of the causes is lifestyle and that lifestyle i talked about stress too much stress so yeah we are now saying resting and drinking plenty of fluid taking balanced diet remember we said one of the causes is pure poor diet so yeah we are saying taking balanced diet will help also then medications good medications you know we have medications here, we have medications here, but these medications now that cause this one is poor medications. 
poor medications. I would have indicated the police. I'm sorry for that. Poor medications. Either overdosage of drugs or drug abuse. Those are poor medications. Or taking expired drugs. Or harsh drugs. Then here, yeah, medications that is that is prescribed by the doctor and you follow the doctor prescription so this is how or this are how we can we can curtail or manage digestive diseases i want to believe that with this few points of mind you've been able to grab something for today all right thank you <laughs>